Boring and dull skies often don't seem to convey the epic scenery that you're photographing and make for difficult scenes to capture and edit. You can't change the weather, but giving your sky that extra bit of interest can make a huge difference in your final image. On One Photo Raw is here to help with just that. With Photo Raw, you can easily enhance your photo's backgrounds and skies using professional masking and blending tools. From complete background replacements to reviving and enhancing your sky, On One Photo Raw is your one-stop shop for easy-to-use masking and creative editing. Photo Raw is a layered, non-destructive photo editor, meaning you can incorporate multiple layers into your image, blend, edit, and mask them, all while maintaining the original quality and detail of each layer. If you're looking to dive deep into composites and masks, no worries. Photo Raw comes equipped with an array of masking, refining, and healing tools. Once you've got your layers blended together, you can quickly make your scene pop with Photo Raw's powerful effects and styling engine. And if you're looking for a simpler way to create dazzling skies, Photo Raw can do that as well. With On One Photo Raw, adding and blending new skies into your scene can be as easy as pulling up on a few sliders. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly blend in a new sky to your scene using Photo Raw's easy to use masking tools and sliders. With this photo, we're dealing with a beautiful sunny day. In situations like this, I don't want to replace the sky I have, I really just want to enhance it and make it more interesting. Blending new skies and clouds into your image is incredibly simple inside of Photo Raw. And unlike other apps that offer limited flexibility with sky enhancements and replacements, you have complete control over adjusting, refining, and blending your new sky. To start, I'm going to use the Layers pane inside of Photo Raw's Edit module. To quickly bring a new sky into the environment, I can select the plus icon and navigate to any image I need. Anthony Morganti's Sky Assortment Pack has a bunch of great skies that fit a variety of situations. Let's add this wonderful sky here. The sky is a bit larger than my image, so to fit it to my canvas, I'm going to grab my transform tool by pressing V on my keyboard. Then I'll use my top tool modifier bar and I'll select this fit to canvas button. While the transform tool is selected, I can also use it to position my sky in the frame. There's a harsh edge at the bottom where the frame cuts off. To eliminate that, let's use the masking gradient tool, which can be selected by pressing M on your keyboard. I can easily remove and feather the bottom of the new sky layer by just dropping the masking gradient tool onto it. The larger handle allows me to move the gradient, while the small handle allows me to rotate the gradient. I can also use these perforated edges to modify the feathering of the mask. Here comes the fun part. The sky looks quite unnatural in this environment, so let's use blending options to make sure things look believable. Inside the layers pane, I'll make sure my new sky layer is selected and I'll access the blending options with this gear icon here. These three sliders help me remove specific tones in my layer so that the layers below it can flourish. From here, it's all about adjusting and styling. Since I can modify each layer separately, I'll use the Develop tab to adjust the basic tone and color settings. I'll add a bit of contrast, boost the whites, and warm the image up a bit. This will ensure the image looks more natural in the environment. If you want to tone down the new layer, you can use the opacity slider in the layers pane to adjust to your taste. Now let's merge these two layers together. In the layers pane, I'm going to right click my sky layer and select new stamped layer. This will duplicate the two layers in the stack and then merge them together so that we can readjust the original photos if we need to. Let's stylize our merged layer in the Effects tab. I'll add a sunshine filter, which is a perfect filter for making your landscapes pop, and then I'll use the strong preset inside of it, which works great on this shot and makes the scene look more illuminated. That's how easy it is to create professional landscape edits using On One Photo Raw. To learn more about On One Photo Raw or On One editing products, head over to our website at www.onone.com or leave a comment below.